Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in this video I will solve problem manipulating history from round 796 so let's get started so we have been given in the problem uh, that we have an initial string that we have an initial string that is of length 1 length of this is equal to 1 so it is something like a b c up to z right and so there can be 26 possible initial strings Uh, also, we have been given we have been given two n extra strings, right? Uh, uh, we have been given two n extra strings that are t one, t two, t three, t four. And we have been given n operations. We have been given n operations in one operation. I can choose uh, in ith operation. If I have to write this better. In ith operation, in ith operation, I can replace occurrence of one occurrence of t two i minus one with t two i. So, for example, in operation one, I can think about t one and t two, and I will replace exactly one occurrence of t one with t two. Similarly, uh, if uh, for operation two, I will take t three and t four, and I will I will replace exactly one occurrence of t three with t four, and so on. I I can do n operations. In the end, I will get some final string after applying the n operations. Uh, so now all these two n strings have been shuffled. Now all the two n strings, all the two n strings. Have been shuffled. These have been shuffled, and we have been given the final string. Now using now now using these two things, we have to find the initial string. We have to find the initial string. So we have shuffled two n strings. We have shuffled two n strings. We have a final string. And using these two, we have to find the initial string. So how, how so how can we do this? So let's see. Let's say my starting uh, uh, let's say my starting string is C. My my starting string is C. Uh, then uh, after I apply an operation on this, this is my T one. After I apply an operation on this, it will be my T two. And it will contain some x number of c's, let's say, where x is greater than or equal to zero. So here it will contain some c's, where x is greater than or equal to zero. So now, if I end my operation here, if I end my operation here, let's call this my final string. Assuming I end my operation here, uh, my final string will also contain x. My final string will also also contain x c's, right? So in total, my input data, that is my t1 plus t2, and my final string, it will contain one from here. This is contribution of t1 to the number of c's. To the number of c's, and if I end here, it will contain uh, it will contain uh, x c's here, t2 plus x in the final string. So it will contain two x plus one c's. That is a odd number. So that is your solution. That uh, if your input data contains odd number of c's, then c is your answer. To uh, to show this further, we can extend the same example further. We can extend the same example further. Let's say we have initial string t one that is c. We replace it with t two. It has some x number of c's. So now your final string contains x x number of c's, right? In this step, let's say then we do some operation t three. It contains let's say y number of c's. It contains y number of c's where y is greater than equal to zero, and y is less than equal to x. 
and we change it to something that has z number of seats that has z number of seats so this is y here this is z here something like this so now your final string how much how much c's will your file in the final string contain so to see that first of all it had x number of c's right it had x number of c's and we used we used y of them so we had x minus c x x minus y c's left we had x minus y c's left and we chose y c's and we made them into z c's so now so, so now my final string has x plus sorry z plus x minus y number of c's so now if my operations end here so now if my operations end here my final string will be here right my final string will be here and it will contain z plus x minus y number of c's so now if you try to count the number of c's now if you try to count the number of c then my t1 will contribute my t1 will contribute 1c my t2 will contribute x my t3 will contribute y my t4 will contribute z and my final string will contribute z plus x minus y it is my final string so uh, my y will be gone and i will be left with 1 plus 2 times z plus x which is again odd so we have taken an in general example we had uh, we have taken an in general example and we have shown that the number of c's in the end will always be odd the, the number of uh, the number of uh, the, the number of initial string characters in the end will always be odd you can like show this even for six number of operations but i think it is enough to show that uh, it is enough to show for two and four operations that that the number of c's will always be odd so that will be your solution so you just need to iterate over your two end strings and your final string and count uh, and find the character that has odd, odd number of frequency so that will be your solution uh, i don't have the code for this now but i can code it right now uh, if you want to so let's check the input Uh, we have n, we have two n strings. Right, so I can do n input to two. So I can take first n inputs, and then I can, or I can do two n plus one here. Yeah. I don't need the extras. I can keep a map. Character to long long. Let, let's say frequency. Uh, for long long plus plus i. That should be equal to. For character j equal to a. Is n equal to z plus j uh, and frequency j plus equal to pound uh, that is p of i 
Actually, I have my mic in the way, so I, I am typing very weirdly. <laughs> Sorry for that. Your file. Dot end. And I can say make a character J here. Then I can iterate over all my characters. Frequency or J and one. I think it should work. So let's save the input. So we do. We got A and Z. So let's see the answers here. Like right, it is A and Z. So I can submit this. Is the queue too long today? Mm, let's see my submissions. I think the queue is too long today, uh, so I won't wait for it. Yeah, so that was the solution for the problem. Uh, also, similarly, you can show that uh, the 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 characters that are not in the initial string will appear even number of times right so your solution is you can uh, you, you can show the same way that the characters that are not in the initial string will appear even number of times so my solution is initial string character see will appear all times in t1 to t2n and my final string combined and when all all other characters will appear even number of times even times so that will be a solution and i think the problem was very hard to observe the observation here was like very hard to get so uh, yeah uh, and if you guys have a doubt do ask me in the comments and i will be happy to help you out see you in the next one okay, so let's see the verdict uh, if it's here well it's not here so see you in the next one i guess bye bye also if you guys don't know continue newton school is offering a full stack development course the course is uh, over six months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything there is zero hidden fees there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity also all their mentors are from top mncs like google flipkart zomato etc also they will get you placed into the top mncs as well like google flipkart zomato uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourselves Also, you don't need to worry if you guys think that yeah, I don't have coding, I don't have fresh air, I don't have any fresh air The course is over 6 months long and they will teach you from scratch So you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field This is a very, uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for And if you uh, want to land a job, I highly uh, I highly vouch for this and uh, if you guys want to sign up there will be a link down below and you can go and sign up from there So yeah, you know, be sure to sign up for this and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye